Hey everyone and welcome to another XIM tutorial. In the following video I will explain you how to transfer your PC settings to your XIM. Of course this tutorial can also be used to convert the PC settings of pro players to your favorite console game. Now I do not want to discuss if that's a good idea or not, but I'd like to mention one more thing before we dive into the guide. On consoles each game has a maximum turn speed, which you cannot exceed. And on top of that, most console games also have a higher input lag than their PC counterpart. So keep those two console restrictions in mind, as they might influence the outcome of your results. Now let's look at the keyboard bindings first. Those can usually be directly copied without any problems. If you want to transfer your own PC game settings to the console, then just start your favorite PC game and check your button bindings. You can then just copy those into the XIM manager. The keyboard bindings of pro players are usually not as easy to obtain though, but there are a few websites where you can look those up. One of those websites is for example prosettings.com. There you can for instance find the Fortnite button bindings of Mongrel. Another alternative is to visit the Twitch or YouTube streams of these pro players, as they usually have chat commands to get their keyboard bindings. Or they show their button bindings during the streams, which is where this picture has been taken from for example. Now I do not want to focus that much on keyboard bindings, as most of you probably are more interested in converting mouse sensitivities. So first, let's look at how you can convert the mouse sensitivity of PC Pro players to your XIM. For that, you will need a website to look up those sensitivities. Here you can see such a website, it's called onwinning.com. It's one of the websites that can be used to look up the settings of Overwatch Pro players. If I scroll down a little bit, the list of settings will appear. The most important setting is the centimeter per 360 degree ratio. As you can see, the popular Twitch streamer Aimbot Calvin is for example using a ratio of 43.3 cm for a 360 degree turn on the mouse pad. Also ignore those DPI settings, those low DPI values usually don't work with XIM and will also not matter for this guide. Let's look up the settings of another player. Let's search for Jonak, one of the best pro players. He uses an insane value of around 77 centimeters. That means he almost has to move his mouse 1 meter on the mouse pad to make a full 360 degree turn in the game. I mean it obviously works out for him, but for most people that will be too slow. I will try to copy the settings of the Fran. He has one of the best mouse tracking that I've ever seen, and as you can see he's using a ratio of 40.75. Now once you have the centimeter per 360 degree ratio of your favorite pro player, you can switch to your console game. You will now have to place a ruler at the bottom of your mouse pad. It should look like the following. Yes, my photoshop skills are sick. After that, place your mouse directly above the ruler. Now move your mouse slowly and perfectly horizontal to the right. I will now move my mouse 40.75 centimeters on the mouse pad to the side and see how much I turn in the game. If your ruler or mouse is not large enough, then you have to lift your mouse and reposition it. In the game you have to pay attention to that you place your crosshair on head level. If you aim too high or too low, then it will not work. Also you should aim on a starting point that makes it easy for you to tell if you made a full 360 degree turn. In addition to that, there should be no enemy around you, as the aim assist will slow you down and ruin your measurement. At last, make sure that while you move your mouse to the side, your crosshair in the game will also only move horizontal and not too much up or down. Here you can see what I mean by that, so try to keep your crosshair perfectly straight. I will now basically adjust my sim sensitivity as often as needed until I do a 360 degree turn in the game with 40.75 cm on the mouse pad. After changing and measuring my sim sensitivity 5 to 6 times, I have settled with 25.3. With that XIM sensitivity, I have the same mouse speed as the Fran on PC. Now of course you can also do this for other games. Let's use Rainbow Six for example. For that I will use the website prosettings.com again. You can find all website links in the video description by the way. On the right side I will filter for Bolo, one of the best Siege players. As you can see, the website sadly doesn't list the centimeter per 360 degree ratio. That's why we have to use another website to get that ratio. For that we will use the website mousesensitivity.com. It offers a calculator that lets you compute the centimeter per 360 degree ratio for pretty much every game. At the top left you can switch between centimeters and inches, just in case you prefer freedom units. Now click on the game tab and search for Rainbow Six Siege. Once you have found it, you can continue with the next step. On the right side you can choose what you want to compute, for example hipfire, aimed on sights, different scopes or everything. I will go with hipfire. Now go back to the pro settings website. 
the three important settings are now the following. The DPI value that Bolo is using is 400, the multiplier is 0.02 and the horizontal sensitivity is 10. The other values are not needed. Now go back to the calculator and insert those three values. The other options such as field of view don't matter for the hip sensitivity. Other games may require you to insert more values. Once you typed in all settings you can see the centimeter per 360 degree ratio at the bottom. The result is that Bolo uses a little bit less than 40 cm on the mouse pad to do a full 360 degree turn in the game. You can now do the very same as I said before, launch your console game and adjust your XIMP sensitivity as often as needed until you do a full 360 degree turn with around 40 cm on the mouse pad. Now as you probably already guessed, if you want to copy your own PC sensitivity, you can either just measure your centimeter per 360 degree ratio in the PC game or you use a calculator from the mouse sensitivity website. So use the one that you prefer. After that just launch your console game and follow the steps from before. Overall I have to say it's better to not copy the settings of other players, no matter how good they are. You will always have the best aim if you use a sensitivity that is optimized to your dexterity level. I have linked a guide in the video description with which you can do exactly that. That way you can achieve the same mouse accuracy as Bolo, Dafran or any other pro player. If you have any questions about your Xim or about this mini tutorial just ask in the comments down below. Guys, if you liked this video, hit the like button or even subscribe to this channel. And for the crazy guys out there, you can even become a channel member now. I'd really really appreciate that. Plus you also get a few extra benefits for becoming a channel member. Also, let me know if you would like to see more of these Xim mini tutorial videos and don't forget to post your own suggestions in the comments down below. But that's about it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will maybe see you in the next one.